Today we're going to take a quick look at Honda's latest new 2022 motorcycle and scooter announcement out of Europe. Now wait, before my American viewers and everyone outside of Europe clicks off this video because you think these models don't apply to you, keep in mind a lot of our models trickle down from there and we get a sneak peek as to what's coming by doing a little bit of spy work from around the world. Now this won't be a deep dive into each model as we'll be covering them separately with more detailed information. This is just a quick overview as to what was announced and some of their changes too. And with that out of the way, let's quickly run through these. First up is something that's been floating around for a bit now, but Honda's finally made it official and that the Hornet name will be returning in the near future. They aren't giving us much to go off of with them just releasing the concept version you're seeing here, but it gives us an idea on the styling direction of this new naked bike. Now we still don't know for sure what engine they plan to use, but rumors are it'll use the same 850cc parallel twin that the new and upcoming Trans Alp is slated to use. This is one I'm excited to see come to fruition and I really hope it's a legitimate response to the Duke and MT-07 as well as a few others from the competition. But what do you guys think about the idea of this platform and it returning? And next up is the Honda CBR 1000 RRR Fireblade and SP variant plus the 30th anniversary edition of the SP. So what did Honda change on it for this year? You have new intake ports, airbox, airbox funnels, and the exhausts midsection have been revised for more mid-range power from its 215 horsepower engine. Honda also added three teeth to the rear sprocket, bumping it up to 43 now for those that thought the 215 horsepower and 443 pound bike wasn't quick enough. The quick shifter settings were also upgraded, plus the HSTC system has also been optimized for more refined rear traction management thanks to feedback from Honda's HRC riders and the throttle by wire spring load has been reduced too, enhancing the overall response and linearity of throttle input. Now we could dive into a lot more detail on these changes, but then this video would be 30 minutes long, so I'll have it all broken down at hondaprokevin.com, and we'll have a video in the near future where we go into it all as well. And when it comes to color options, the standard Triple R comes in Grand Prix Red, and then you have the SP, which comes in Grand Prix Red in Matte Pearl Morion Black, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we're close enough. Then, last but not least, we have the SP decked out in a 30th anniversary edition color scheme, and man oh man is this thing beautiful. I mean, just get a look at that. Here's to hoping we not only get this in the USA, but that they also give us the standard triple R to replace our double R, so we don't have to spend SP money to get the latest leader bike performance from Honda. Next up is the Rebel 500. Now we don't have any changes on this bike other than the addition of a new color called Pearl Organic Green that is also paired up with Matte Jeans Blue Metallic, Graphite Black, and Matte Axis Gray Metallic for this year. And next up is a new addition to the lineup that we've been talking about rumors on for quite some time and that's the ADV 350 scooter. It's a step down from the X-ADV, but a step up from the very popular ADV 150 platform with right at 29 horsepower and 23 and a half foot pounds of torque. So this thing will scoot, no pun intended. When it comes to colors, you have Spangle Silver Metallic, Matte Carbonium Gray Metallic, and Matte Carnelian Red Metallic. Personally, I think we need this thing and the Forza 350 in the States to fill some holes in our scooter lineup, but what do you guys think? And next up is the CB650R, and this is an easy one as there aren't any changes aside from a new color option being thrown in the mix. You now have the new Sword Silver Metallic, and that's paired up with Matte Gunpowder Black Metallic, Candy Chromosphere Red, and Matte Jeans Blue Metallic as well. And then we move over to its sibling, the CBR650R. The only changes for this year tie back to colors and graphics as well, with the Matte Gunpowder Black Metallic receiving orange highlights, and the Grand Prix Red also sees updated graphics too when compared to last year. And now we're at the X-ADV Automatic Motorcycle Slash Scooter, which saw a round of updates last year, so this time around it's just getting new color options. You now have a new Matte Ballistic Black Metallic, Matte Iridium Gray Metallic, and Harvest Beige paired up with the Pearl Deep Mud Gray and Grand Prix Red too. And then we move over to the Honda SH150i scooter, a model we used to get here in the States, but it was quickly discontinued after a one year run in 2010. For 2022, you now have two new color options with matte pearl cool white and matte rock gray tying in with new logos and black wheels to help spice things up 
with pearl night star black, timeless gray metallic, and pearl splendor red colors being thrown back in the mix. We'll also lump the next model in real quick with this one as it's its little brother. The SH-125 also returns with the same treatment and color options too. And next up is the Forza 350 scooter. And since it received some updates last year, the only changes this year come in the way of colors with a new matte carnelian red metallic being thrown in there with matte pearl pacific blue, pearl cool white, and matte cyanose gray metallic, and pearl falcon gray. The Forza 125 sees similar treatment as it was updated last year too, so now you have new color options as well, like Pearl Falcon Gray, Matte Pearl Pacific Blue, paired up with the returning color options of Pearl Night Star Black, Matte Cyanos Gray Metallic, and Matte Carnelian Red Metallic as well. And then we have the 2022 Grom, and before you say the 2022 Grom has already been out, this is where you get into some weird things between countries and model year releases. Europe's 2021 Grom was our 2022 Grom here in the States, and they are now getting their 2022. This model returns with no changes after its major refresh last year other than a new color option being thrown in the mix for them, and that's Pearl Queen B Yellow, which joins the returning matte gunpowder black metallic in red. And that's it for this month's 2022 Honda two-wheeled announcement from Europe. What do you guys think about it all? Is there a model you wish Honda would have thrown some changes at? Is there a model and or color you hope makes it here to the USA? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below and I'll be joining in on the conversation too. Also, if you didn't see the model you're looking for, check out some of my past videos as we may have already covered it. We've got another new announcement coming up very soon since Honda doesn't roll them all out at the same time. So hit the subscribe button so you're in the loop as to what's going on with everything Honda. Also, if you'd like more info on a certain model, you can check out HondaProKevin.com for deep dives, and we'll have more videos coming up soon. But that's a wrap for this one. Thanks again for watching and supporting all of this. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.